Hi, this is Kyle with Kirksville Web Design. Today I want to talk about the pages panel within editing a Google site and what are the all the options and features within that for navigation and for organizing your content. Why do we need to cover this first of all? Well, this is something that's been confusing uh, for some users and some of the options and, and features aren't readily visible or obvious. Uh, to new users. So let's cover that uh, and how to organize your content. You've, you've made multiple uh, web pages of content. How do you best organize those and present those in the navigation bar that's um, a navigation system been baked into Google Sites? So I have uh, a web page pulled up here uh, based on one of our templates. So we have, we're in edit mode, we're logged in. And we're ready to go. We have five pages of, of content here on the top navigation bar within our Google site. Now let's cover what's in this uh, plus icon here at the bottom right. So we have four options presented to us. New page, new link, full page, embed, and new menu section. So what do each of these mean? A new page is just a new web page. So each of these five that presented here, these are full web pages. What is a new link? Well, a new link is just that. It's any URL that you want to put in uh, to the navigation bar. So it can be internal. So it gives you some options here of linking internally to web pages you've created. Or you can just type in any URL that you want. Let's say we're navigating to twitter.com, okay, within our navigation bar. Do we want this to open in a new tab? Consider that. It was kind of hidden, you know, when we were editing this page, was, we didn't see this option. So as a common practice, if it's an external web page, you want it to open in a new tab. It's just like a courtesy to people because you don't want them, you know, unbeknownst to them to be navigating away from your website. And it's just good practice. So we're going to give this name, we're call it Twitter. Opening a new tab, done. So we have a link now. We can drag and drop this link, uh, perhaps it'd be at the bottom, so it's in the far right of the navigation bar. So we have a new link available to us now. Full page embed. This is rarely uh, used in my experience uh, with Google Sites, but what it is is that it's just a new new page, but this new page is only limited to embedding a feature within like the uh, topmost header portion of your, of your web page. So let's just make an example here, embed. Basically, you're going to embed into the full page uh, either like code, maybe it's going to be like a slideshow or something, or video perhaps, or you can add it from Drive, like it's going to be a whole spreadsheet that people could see uh, on the web page. That's what this does, the full page embed. And again, drag and drop it however you want it ordered in your navigation bar. A new menu section. What is a new menu? Well, first of all, there's not really an option covered here. Uh, besides new menu section, there's just the nesting of pages into what is a, a top navigation item and then a drop down menu. So let's cover what that is first of all. That's more, I guess, basic. Um, so let's say we want to put about under home. We want to put portfolio under writing. What has that done for us? We've drag and drop these uh, into and nested them. So now we have a drop-down menu under home, right? That's what this, this means. And we have writing, we have under that of a portfolio. So it, it appears to the user to be pages and sub-pages. And that's how it'll be uh, organized also within the, within the URL. So this will be like slash writing and slash portfolio. So keep that in mind if you're planning uh, URLs and directories in that way. Um, okay, so that's the general menu, I guess you could say. And then there's this menu section. The well, menu section, how that differs. Explain here. Let's put something under that. We're going to put support under the menu section. And then we'll go to preview mode. So what does this mean? If it's just a page and a nested page, then it's the top item is clickable. Go to a different page. This is kind of weird. Okay, so the top item is clickable and it's navigable, right? 
so, but if it's a menu section, it's not clickable. And it's not navigable. But it just helps to organize people uh, as a menu section. You can go to support under it. So try to be consistent for your users. If one thing is clickable at the top, then make them all clickable so that that's just user behavior they're accustomed to thinking, okay, I can navigate to the top page in some way. And there's relevant content presented on the top navigation page. Or do you just want to direct people into sub use specifically and have them click on those? Because maybe this wouldn't present any useful information. It would just be a reiteration of what's under of this, this page. So that is what a menu section does. That, that, those are all the options, kind of like four obvious options, but also like the, the, the hidden option of just uh, dragging and dropping pages into sub pages. And you can make sub pages of sub pages. So we can be, uh, and I'll preview that just so you can see what a, what a tertiary level, a sub page of a sub page is like. So you have writing and portfolio. If I click on portfolio, it brings me to the page. But if I click on this little drop down area, arrow, you can see the subpage of portfolio. Now this gets a little bit cumbersome uh, for users if they're going basically to the third level in, or even a fourth level. You know, it's a bit difficult to expect <laughs> your users to navigate in this way. And then if you click on portfolio, it kind of brings you back up, back up a level. Keep that in mind when you're designing uh, your Google site, your website, your intranet, whatever it is. Navigation is important. All right, so what else is here in the side panel? Well, you notice I'm hovering over items and I have a three dot menu at the far right. What is here? Uh, make a home page. So that's just what's going to be your designated home page when you type in the URL. Duplicate a page. See, you're going to make a copy of it. Uh, properties. Look at that. Properties will show you the name. And also, they have this additional uh, page option for a custom path. So this will be like the slug, as was called in, in web design. Uh, it'd be your directory. So we're calling this, uh, you know, by default, it would be writing. So it'd be sl whatever, dot com slash writing. But we can make that different if we need it to be. Uh, maybe it's just, maybe it would be blog, I don't know. And then this can be different from the URL. So you can make this writing blog article, I don't know, something like that. And take check a look, take a look, this is connected. So whatever name you're putting in here is a name that'll affect here at the top uh, navigation bar. Done. What else is available? We have the properties add sub page that so just kind of nests it for you. Um, Besides doing the drag and drag and drop method, hide from navigation. Very important. A lot of people are working on pages. They don't want to necessarily publish them uh, to the public. They're working on them in the back end, sort of. So you can hide a page from navigation. I'll hide that page and any sub pages under it. Again, it's hide from hide from the navigation. So it hides it for you while you're working on it. Or maybe it's like, you know, a page that doesn't really have necessarily like a, a home, like as nested in here. Uh, like, say, let's say bring sub support out. We don't want it to be like nested like into this, but we want it to be like hidden. It's like a blog page or something. Uh, you can do that. So hiding a page may be useful. Undo that with show and navigation. And then delete, obviously deletes the page. And uh, when you're playing with this, you can also use your up and up and down arrow buttons to navigate it as well and hit like delete, to delete a page that can make this process uh, quicker and easier if you're deleting many pages. Okay, so that is everything within this pages uh, panel. I hope this uh, tutorial, tutorial is useful uh, because a lot of questions, you know, just from, from users end users of Google Sites, managing Google Sites, or new users to Google Sites, 
and they just don't know all, all these kind of hidden, hidden uh, tips and features that are available. So thank you very much. Again, it's Kyle, Curse of Web Design. Thanks for tuning in. Bye.